This is a planning report by the Trojan Rabbits, Elizabeth, Gabriel, Josh, and Tiffany. The challenge is to create a safe machine that can successfully defeat the Black Knight, collect shrubbery, and deliver holy hand grenades more efficiently than competitors in their arena. The goal involves achieving the maximum amount of points to place first by also retrieving the Holy Grail. The Black Knight is a rubber dog toy which weighs 10 grams. It must be removed from the home zone in order to prevent a negative 13 point addition to the team's score. The shrubbery or tennis balls must be gathered from the edges of the home zone quickly before other teams strike. Each shrub is worth seven points to the team's score. Six holy hand grenades will be provided to the team. These ping pong balls must be delivered to each of the four entrances to the beast layer. If no grenades are successfully deposited, the grenade run will receive a score of zero. The ultimate goal of the team is to retrieve the Holy Grail from the center of the beast layer before another team does. The Holy Grail is worth an additional 30 points to the team's score. The House of Quality was utilized to illustrate both the customer and engineering requirements needed throughout the design process. Cost, timing, and safety requirements were lower ranked on the House of Quality. These are easiest to achieve, but necessary for the design. The highest rank requirements were defeating the Black Knight, collecting shrubbery, and delivering hand grenades because these are the primary objectives the design must meet. The machine must be compact to meet the design requirements for the competition. It also must complete tasks consistently and autonomously so that it can be trusted after testing in the competition. Primary engineering requirements include task execution time, lab view code efficiency, and machine reach. These requirements are needed to ensure the machine will meet the objectives of the competition. Another focus of the engineering requirements will be finding the right balance between them. For instance, material strength and maintenance frequency must have the correct balance in order to optimize the performance and durability of our design. The specification sheet illustrates specific guidelines needed to meet the engineering requirements for the design. Geometry specifications are needed to ensure the design adheres to the rules and is able to meet its objectives. Kinematic specifications ensure that the robot will be able to compete efficiently. The machine must be compact for transportation to competitions. It also must adhere to the cost and schedule limits of the rules. Multiple function trees were utilized to break down the tasks needed to be completed to meet each of our three objectives for the competition. In order to defeat the Black Knight, the machine must accept an input of power, extend its arm, and move the knight. A motor, reel string, and other items will be needed. The three function trees show a breakdown of the ability to achieve each goal. The team can use these as a checklist throughout the design process to ensure the design has all of the components needed for success. Over the course of the past week, through ideation and brainstorming, the team came up with its first potential design. This design utilizes two arms propelled by the force of a motor and pneumatic piston to extend and gather the shrubbery. Afterwards, a string is used to guide the arms with the shrubbery back into the home zone. Here you can see the final completed design for this week's testing. Here's a close-up on the power sources and how they are fastened with a winch. Multiple planning tools were created to ensure the design is completed by November 11th. The job responsibility matrix shows the task breakdown for each group member to ensure the workload does not become too heavy for any one person. The prioritization matrix shows a focus on idea generation, designing and planning ideas, and obtaining supplies first. The planning tools will lead the group into the next steps of obtaining a solution. The solution matrix shows our breakdown of possible ideas of movement for the machine to achieve our four goals. The next steps will involve developing these solution methods into design ideas and evaluating those ideas in order to find the optimal design. These are our references. Thank you for listening.